case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1990 case of United States v. Riggs, heard by the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois, two men, Riggs and Nydorf, faced charges of wire fraud, violating the National Stolen Property Act and the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act for allegedly stealing proprietary information about Bell South Telephone Company's enhanced 911 system using computers. The key focus of the case was determining whether stolen confidential information could be classified as tangible property and considered goods, wares, or merchandise under the law. Nidor filed pre-trial motions to dismiss the charges against him, arguing that the wire fraud charge and the statute prohibiting interstate transportation of stolen property didn't apply to him. However, the court disagreed and ruled that both Riggs and Nydorf devised and implemented a scheme to defraud Bell South and steal its valuable E911 system text file, with intentions to print the stolen information in a computer newsletter called FRAC that Nydorf edited. Ultimately, the court denied all of Nydorf's pretrial motions, as well as his motion for early production of Jenks material. The Santiago proffer was conditional, and it was determined that the government was not required to turn over Giglio evidence well in advance of trial. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.